Okay, the time now is 1 p.m. The time now is 1 p.m. Let's start our lesson, all right? Uh, this is for the upper primary math. So if you are P5 and P6, hello. If you are P3 and P4, hello. So <laughs> I mean, if you want to learn something extra, it's perfectly okay, lah, huh? doesn't matter, all right? Every day is supposed to be a knowledge um, learning um, absorbing day. All right, so let's go into today's uh, lesson. But before that, like, let me tell you what you need for the lesson. All right, so if you can, right, do have an exercise book with you, right? So usually I have an exercise book like this. Cool. And uh, whatever that's important, uh, whatever the uh, important methods or uh, you think that you need to um, uh, come up with your own notes. All right, so the best place to write it is inside, is inside this exercise book. Okay, so you have a consolidated uh, set of notes. Next time when you do your revision, you can simply look at the, note, the notes that you have uh, wrote inside the exercise book. Okay, so the next thing is ah, the worksheet. If you can print out the worksheet, that would be great. All right, because once you have the copy in front of you, right? So whatever I do the working, whatever my explanation is, you can actually jot it down with me. Cool. But if you do not have the worksheet, it's perfectly okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't go and rush through printing and all this already. Just open uh, exercise book or get some papers and you can actually write down the steps with me. All right. Then later, then you try to print out the worksheet. Then that time, right, you don't look at the answer. You try on your own. That's where you learn again. All right. The next thing, if you have your stationery, that would be great. Colored pens and all this make your working a little bit more colorful. Not so dull. That would be great. All right. And I need your attention and focus because today's one right, is talking about working backwards. Many of the students don't like to work backwards one. I know, I know it's tough. That's why we are handling it, right? If it's too simple, then, you know, then no purpose. Nah. And, and P5, P6, right? Oh, yeah, I forgot to write something. All right. Can you please have your calculator with you? All right. So for P5, P6, usually for this type of question, right, we can use the calculator. Is that okay? All right. Everybody can hear me loud and clear, huh? Yeah, yeah so I forgot to say, hello, welcome to Edit Tuition. Okay, come on. <laughs> okay, like, come, let's start off with something simple first. This one is like primary, uh, primary four work. Uh, very simple, very simple. All right. So at the bus interchange hall, uh, this one is not in the worksheet, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. At the bus interchange hall, a group of passengers boarded the bus. So at the start, right, what's the story? At the start, there are some passengers who boarded the bus. Eh, but do we know how many people are there here? Don't know, right? Don't know passenger. We don't know how many. All right. So actually, what am I doing here? I'm actually writing down some of the clues. I read the entire paragraph here. Along the way, I write down some of the clues. Because when I write it down, right, I personally will, okay, put more focus, put more notice on it. So that's what I usually do. All right, so at the start, I don't know how many passengers. If I know, I would have written the answer already, right? Because the question is asking, how many passengers boarded the bus at the interchange, right? So the thing is, I don't know, so I slowly do, lah, huh? Ken? And the question did say, at bus stop A, oh, go to bus stop A, okay? The bus went to bus stop A. And what happened? 20% alighted. Hey, what's the meaning of alighted, lah? Right, my English not very good, lah. But alighted means you drop off. 20 people drop off. So you less out 20. Is that true? And at the same bus stop, what happened? 30 passengers got up the bus. Got up means what? Go up the bus means you have to plus 30, right? So this portion here, right? This portion here, right? I'm just writing out the clues, right? I'm reading the paragraph and it's so long. All the words are so clustered together. Ah, my eyes very pain old people like that, the eyes very pin. So I tend to write out my own clues. So step by step. Okay. Then at bus stop B, what happened? All right. This one is the easy question. Right? This one you'll see in primary four. All right. Of course, we are not going to do such question later. It's too simple. <laughs> no kick. So at bus stop B, what happened? 15 people alighted. 15 people alighted means what? Ah, uh -uh, got off, got off. So down here, minus 15. Right not? Eh? Nobody come on board. Lah. Never mind. Never mind. Read some more. At bus stop C, eight passengers alighted and 27 passengers got back on. Okay, so bus stop C. So I'm just listing out all the clues that I have. All right, eight alighted. Uh, eight alighted means minus eight. And what happened? 27 passenger, uh, passenger uh, uh, boarded the bus. Okay, and what happened that after that? Question did say, 
at the moment, right, at this moment, the bus is at its maximum capacity of 52 passengers. All right, 52 passengers means at the end of the day, how many passengers are there? There's a total of 52 passengers. Oh, some of you already got the answer. And those of you got the answer, right? Yes. All right, I can see that you are typing into the, the screen. All right, so I uh, got 2% already say 38, correct? 38 is the correct answer. Good job. All right, good job to Jovian and uh, Go Goria. All right, and Hannah also. Good job. All right, so this is our question, right? What do you do? Hey, you got the what? You got the final number here. All you got to do is to work backwards. You have to work backwards, work backwards, work backwards to get to this number down here. Can you see not? Yeah? So, how do you work backwards? When you say work backwards, right, your, your thinking must be a little bit different already. Yeah? So, imagine that down here got 27 people come on board, right? You are going to work backwards to find the in the beginning, right? So, these 27 people are actually not there. You're supposed to ah chase them away. All right. And these minus eight people, what are you going to do? You're supposed to welcome, welcome them back onto the bus. All right. So you're supposed to go in a backwards motion. All right. So initially, right, what happened? You chase away 20, you got 30. You chase away 15, you chase away eight, you got 27. Now you must do everything reverse really. That means you must, you must uh, chase away this 27. And welcome this 8 back. Welcome this 15 back. Chase away 30. Welcome this 20 back. So it's a reverse. Uh. That's why it's called working backwards, right? All right. So slowly, uh, we start from the, at the end. Uh. So at the end of the day, got what? 52 passenger. All right. This 27, what you do? Ah, go away. Shoo, shoo. Minus 27 from bus stop C. And the 8 that left, hey, please, please come back. Please come back. Plus 8. All right, so if you do this working right, there will be 33 passenger, all right, on board. Can you see? There will be 33 passenger on board before you reach bus stop C. Now, let's go back to this portion here, the bus stop B portion. These 15 people, hey, please, please don't go away. Please don't go away. Come back, come back. So you plus them back again. And eventually, you get 48. All right, so 48 means what? 48 passenger inside the bus before reaching bus stop B. Now we go back to bus stop A. Ah. This 30, A, A, go, go, go away. Shoo, shoo. So your 48, you shoo them away. And this 20, what, what happened? You say, please, please come back. Welcome them back in again. All right. So what do you see? You see 48 minus 30 will give you 18. 18 plus 20 will give you a 38 passenger. All right. And this will be your beginning uh, your, the number of people who boarded the bus at the bus interchange. All right, that will be the answer here. Can you see that? Hey, but you confirm or not? Uh, yeah, then check again. Uh. Press your calculator, come. All right, so if right at the beginning got 38 passenger, then what happened? Bus stop A minus 20, then plus 30. Bus stop B minus 15. Bus stop C minus 8 plus 27. Voila, 52. All right, you get back to this answer again. So correct or not? Confirm correct. Lah. Can you see not? So in a way, you must do some checking. And once the answer balance up, everything will be okay. Who? Cool. This is the simple version. And this is for primary four kid. <laughs> All right. So if you have a problem with this, right? Don't worry. Just uh, look at the question. And as what I did, right? You try to summarize them up in a clue-like format like this. All right. This is like a clue-like format. So you only write out the important things. All right. Then you learn to work backwards. Can? Easy, ah? Huh? Okay, come. Now let's go on to another easy question. 